Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating right here iPhone, iPad, up touch to latest OS. So right now, our latest iOS would be under settings. In our settings, we can just scroll down and go into general. But before we do that, I highly suggest making a backup in iCloud. If you guys have no more iCloud space, just hook it up to your computer and from there use Finder on your Mac or iTunes on PC in order to make that backup. Also, if you have any problems, use your computers in order to update using the exact same programs I just mentioned. Anyways, once you guys are done that, just go right into general and then second option, we'll see a software update. We're gonna see that this does in fact that we are all up to date, iOS 14.8. However, down here, you may notice that you also have iOS 15 available. So we can tap right there. And then from here, it's gonna tell us how big this is. If you don't have three gigs right now, clean up your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, make sure you have at least four gigs, not just the three, but at least four gigs in order to download this and install. Right now we're gonna go ahead and tap on download and install. It's gonna ask us for a passcode if you have one. Once you put that in, it's just gonna download. From here, we're just gonna tap on agree on the bottom right hand side, then on the right hand side again, agree. Then from there, we're just gonna see this update requested. So at this point in time, it's just gonna download the update and then it's gonna install it. It doesn't really matter if your iPhone iPad Touch just turns off when it's downloading it, but it does matter if it turns off when you're installing the update. Now, if you guys don't see this update, that means that your iPhone iPod Touch might not be compatible. Again, if you're having problems, you could hook it up to your computer and use iTunes or Finder in order to update it. However, not all iPhones are compatible. So for example, the oldest iPhone right now that's compatible with this iOS update is an iPhone 6S, not the 6, but the 6S. Now, if you guys have an iPod Touch, the seventh generation can update to this. However, any other one, so the 6, 5th, or 4 cannot be updated as well. So just make sure you have at least 50% of your battery. And even if you have 50% of your battery, also make sure to have it hooked up to some electricity just in case. Now, I do want to mention also that the oldest iPads to actually receive this update, for example, would be if you have an iPad fifth generation. So the iPad fourth generation wouldn't work. If you have an iPad Pro, the first generation, that can still be updated. If you have an iPad Air, only if you have the second generation, that can also be updated. If you have the first, for example, it wouldn't work. An iPad mini, well, the iPad mini three wouldn't be compatible. However, the oldest one that is compatible is the iPad mini fourth generation. Also, if you're looking at a way around this, well, every single time we have an update, everybody's looking for a way around this. That is if you don't have the update. And no, there are no ways around it. There haven't been any ways around it. If you're looking into jailbreaking, jailbreaking is awesome. However, you still can't download the latest iOS. Right after it's done downloading, you should see something like this, where it's telling you that it's preparing the update. And after a few minutes, we should see this. Just tap on install now. Right now, it's just gonna verify the update. We're gonna see a black screen, Apple logo, and a loading bar. Afterwards, we should see this, as mentioned, an Apple logo in a loading bar. The first one's gonna go pretty slow. The second one's gonna go a lot faster. And then finally, we're gonna be done with the update. Then it's just gonna restart, and we're done with the update. We should see this screen. We can just swipe up or press our home button, putting a passcode if you have one. And that's it. It's not gonna ask you for your Apple ID again. I do get that question a lot. And welcome to iOS 15. Or if you're updating your iPad, iPad OS 15. So that would be it for this video. That's how you guys can update your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. It's the exact same instructions for all of them. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.